When Suli's grandfather died, he needed to get from Fiji's capital Suva to his home island of Kadavu in a hurry, but there was no commercial boat that would get him there in time for the funeral. Persuading friends to make a special trip for him and his cousins was his only option. It's really hard in times like this, in times as, as such as this, it's really hard to get into the island. Overnight diesel-fueled cargo boats are the way most Fijians get around, but as the price of fuel goes up, Fiji's shipping routes are being cut back. Weekly services are becoming monthly. Some islands aren't being serviced at all. In Suva Harbour, boats no longer economic lie abandoned. This uh, roll and roll of vessels are much bigger and uh, you know, often too big for the little islands that we're talking about here. And therefore, there is a need to meet that, uh, that kind of demand from smaller, is more isolated locations. A few decades ago, there was no such problem. Boats like this for passengers and bigger versions for goods were common, running between and around islands. Now, though, this is one of just eight Kamakau boats left on Fiji's main island. There's ambition, though, to reintroduce sails to cargo boats. This is one option being developed in Japan. The Greenheart boat will be a sail-powered cargo boat with solar-powered batteries only for backup or tight manoeuvres. It'll be able to dock at a jetty or land straight on a remote island's beach. A prototype is about to be built in Bangladesh. Alternative uh, technology vessels don't require to be as big. We can have ships that carry three, three containers, ten containers, as economically as if they carry a thousand containers because there's no fuel component. With that, sparsely populated islands can develop viable economies. It'll be many years, if ever, before giant versions of a boat like this become the mainstay of commercial shipping. But the principle of putting sails back onto cargo vessels is attracting backers as the only sustainable way to reconnect the Pacific. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Fiji.